Yeah, g'day Mark here again, still at the same oval I was at now. I just did an explanation about hunting in long. I've actually found a better target here to explain what I was saying because there's a lot more trash around it. You can hear all the trash there. But hear that? So just in there, right there in the middle, there's a target just there. Now, listen to the trash around it. Now there's trash all around there, but right there in the middle, it's that high squeal that you're looking for. Anyway, we'll give this a dig. We'll give it a dig and we'll see what we've got. Um, sometimes they're rubbish, but most of the time it, it's a coin um, or a good target. But I'm kind of hoping one of these holes has got rubbish as well as a coin in it so I can really demonstrate what I'm, I'm talking about. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, it's saying it's down there. Now, when I've dug these holes sometimes, you know, I thought it was the target, but I pulled a bottle cap out and then another bottle top out or a pull tab or something like that. But eventually, you get down to a coin. Okay, it's just there. Let's see what we got. There we go. Perfect. Now that coin, that's a two cent piece. Now, amazing that there's so much trash around it. But in long, you'll find that. Once you learn how to hunt in long in trash areas with the e-track, don't let anyone tell you that e-tracks are no good in trashy area. They're brilliant. It's just knowing your settings and knowing what you're looking for. Changing your variability, changing your settings a bit. It makes them squeal amongst all the trash. And you won't miss a gold ring because the small ones you may, but you'll dig a million pull tabs to get your small ones in there. But your big chunky gold rings, I've dug a few of them doing this method, and they come up like a sixpence, so you won't miss them. Anyway, we'll keep going. We'll see what else we can come up with.